Il faut que tu aies un petit peu de temps. Tu as un petit peu de temps. Tu as un petit peu de temps. Tu as un petit peu de temps. Il y a quoi faire? Il faut pas tout. One, tu as toujours tu as présenté ça. Et même sur iPhone, quand tu vas sur le site. Two, tu as toujours tu as présenté ça. Ça, il y a pas ça là. Tu as toujours dit, et moi lui, il faut une gamme sienda. Car il dit, et ma tu es sous, une gamme tu as pas sur toi. These are words of some retired persons living with disabilities expressing their displeasure over the delayed payment of their retirement packages. These people, most of whom are from Ndola on the copper belt, claim they came to see President Michael Sata to air their grievances and possibly help them to get their retirement packages. But all was in vain. Chairman Ian Mushinge feels the rights of persons with disabilities are being trampled upon by the leadership of Zambia Agency for Persons with Disabilities, ZAPID. <laughs> But Zapid Executive Director Dr. Felix Silimba wonders why the retirees are accusing the organization of neglecting them. The fact is that whoever was under that sheltered employment was paid what was due to him according to the conditions of service at that time. And Government or the agency does not owe them any money. Among the retirees was 48-year-old Lista Musenge, who could not hide her emotions as she appealed to well wishes to help her buy roofing sheets for a house she has just finished building in Ndola's Zambia compound. <laughs> Lester said she worked for Zapid for 25 years and she was retired in 2005. She has been waiting for her retirement package for the past seven years. To add to her misery, Ms. Musenge experiences excruciating pain. <laughs> on her already disabled legs, which were fractured after she fell off her tricycle. These persons living with disabilities are vowed not to celebrate the Day of Persons with Disabilities, saying with what is pertaining on the ground, they have nothing to celebrate. Francesca Piribanda, Movie TV News, Lusaka.